Mr. Eggplant presents. Hey guys, Tyler here, and thank you for checking out this video. And I'm bringing you guys some more Mythic Plus action from Season 3 of Shadowlands Mythic Plus. And today, I have the highest key that we've attempted so far this season, which is a plus 20 Spires of Ascension. And this is actually the key that we got after timing a plus 19 Solia's Gambit with my friends from Chemical Unbalance over on Area 52. And they were nice enough to bring me along for this plus 20 key afterwards. So that does mean we have the exact same group uh, from one key to the other. And then speaking of of that Salia's Gambit run. It is over on my channel up right now if you guys would like to check that out. I would encourage you to do so. And it just shows that Necrolord Marksman Hunter can still do really well, even on Tyrannical Weeks, and we hang with some really great players. So I cannot wait to see how much farther we can push this iteration of Marksman Hunter. And in this run, we do miss the timer by about a minute 40. Uh, we were actually set to time it, but unfortunately, Tyrannical Spires, Wipe on Final Boss equals probably Dead Key, and that's what happened to us it was still a great run though and i wanted to share it with you guys uh we're learning things about the dungeon even though we've done it so many times and we can just continue to push ourselves because i think if we got a plus 20 key uh, for spires now i think we could actually time that and then as for our group in this video, Sal is tanking for us on his Guardian Druid. And let me tell you, between his uh, Codex and his Four Piece, he is doing all the damage, doing some great work uh, tanking for us in this group uh, on his Guardian Druid. And then Bellatrix is healing on her uh, Holy Priest. And let me tell you, if you have a good healer, you, they can make up for a lot of mistakes that your group makes, and she does that in this particular run. Uh, honestly, in every single group that I seem to find myself in, we have baller healers, and that makes being the DPS uh, so much easier. And then as for the DPS group in this run, we have Sai, who's doing some really great damage on their uh, Enhancement Shaman. It's amazing. I said it in the last video. I'll say it in this one. It's amazing to see an Enhancement Shaman in a group that I'm doing something with, since it's been full tiers, full expansions since I've seen one. And they do great work in this particular run. And then Sour is uh, doing the big damage on his warrior, his arms warrior, I should say. And he's only going to get better because he only has a one piece in this video. No two piece, no four piece. So once he gets that, he is going to be churning out the damage, hitting the, the biggest DPS on all cylinders. And then rounding out the group is, of course, myself on my Necrolord Marksman Hunter. And before we dive into the key portion of the video itself, first off, in this video, my item level is 270 and my weapon is 262. So I still don't have uh, the baller weapon that I'm hoping and praying for out of my vault. And then my covenant is, of course, a Necrolord Marksman Hunter, and I am soulbound with the Bonesmith. Conduits are pretty much going to stay the same, same way with like legendaries and trinkets, at least for now. Uh, so the big conduits that I'm running with, of course, are going to be sharpshooters focus to increase the duration of my true shot. And then also deadly chain to increase the damage of my uh, secondary damage, I should say, of my trick shots by 15%. And then I have started making sure I'm running with marksman's advantage, particularly on tyrannical weeks to limit the amount of damage that single targets are doing to me. And then the legendaries in this video, they're going to stay the same. Uh, so it's going to be the uh, Unblinking Vigil Wrist and then Unity on my belt. Trinkets are going to be the First Sigil from Heroic Pantheon. And then Solia's Secret Technique gives me a lot of flexibility in my build, which I really appreciate. Uh, and that rounds out my trinkets. And then I do have my four set. So my two set is going to be whenever my I have trick shots, increases the damage of that affected shot by 30%. And then also my four set, whenever I spend 40 focus, I gain one charge of trick shots and i am not running with the weak ore in this video that tracks my focus usage i am working on getting one of those made and then looking at some of the others the community has made to see uh, if i can fine tune it and then make sure that i'm getting the most out of my marksman hunter but as for my talents i'm still running with the same aoe talent so that means i have my uh, explosive shot then we're going to go with streamline double tap and then finally volley and then if you guys want to know any of my other parts of my build, whether that be my stat line, if you guys want to check out my Raider IO to see what 
runs don't make it to YouTube. All that information will always be found in the description of the video, as well as links to my 9.2 Marksman Hunter guides. I have one for each and every Covenant, so whether it's the least played or the most played, I've got you covered. And then also, uh, down below I will have links to Bellatrix's stream. She actually is the uh, guild leader from Chemical Imbalance, and she does stream several times a week. She streams Keys, and they are actually doing Mythic Progression in the uh, Sepulchre as well. And then as for the key itself, like I said earlier, it's a Spires of Ascension and it's a plus 20. And it's the dreaded Tyrannical week, so that means it's Tyrannical, then Sanguine, Storming, and then finally Encrypted for the Season 3 Affix. And this was kind of like a Mirror World run for me. Because normally when I run this with my Guild Drexit, we uh, kill the first boss, then we pull a couple of things on the left, then we go right to get to the second boss. Where this group did the exact opposite. So we pulled a little bit of stuff to the right and then we went completely left which did mean we got to see the random druid that's falling off and then whirlwinding back up i had no idea that that was an inside joke that blizz put in when they were finishing up this dungeon so i finally got to hear the reasoning behind that that was pretty cool uh, but i just got to see how different groups pull the same dungeon it's it's really crazy and i really uh, like that about doing i think i'm doing keys with like four different groups now so i'm learning things and absorbing it and trying to share that information with you guys and share those experiences. Uh, we did a great job in this run. Uh, yes, we did not time this run, but that by no means means this was a poor run. Uh, we one-shot every boss except for the last one, which unfortunately was the one that uh, will take and eat up a lot of your time. Uh, we only had a couple of deaths, like on the second boss, uh, which I, I don't like that boss. Uh, that's just not one of my favorite bosses. It's near the bottom of my, my list. Uh, but then we got to uh, use our utility, so to speak, and soak some of of the orbs on the third boss so I need to get in the better habit of being uh, capable and able and willing to do that I've only done that a couple of times so far this uh, expansion but then when we get up to the final boss and I have to say I was the first death and unfortunately I got a little too cheesy because uh, she does her run through ability which you know you just dodge she looks at you and dodge I get that unfortunately she caught me while I was in mid-air doing a disengage it's super frustrating. You'll even hear me in the video. I, I am I am like, wow, I just killed this key. Uh, unfortunately, then we lost a couple of people in quick, quick succession afterwards. Uh, but that's the difference between timing these higher keys. Is like one false step can kill a key. And unfortunately, that did happen. But I am. But by no means am I upset about this run. And I'm just so uh, thankful that they were allowing me to come to this run in the first place. So thank you guys for watching this video. Consider subscribing if you haven't already, and be sure and follow me over at Twitch at twitch.tv slash MrEggplant. I have so many videos in the can waiting to be uploaded for you guys. So I hope if you guys have notifications on, you'll forgive me because you're going to get spammed here in the next couple of days, uh, or even maybe even longer than that, in the next week or so. Uh, but thank you guys, and thank you again to Chemical Imbalance for allowing me to come to their runs. I'm not a part of their guild, uh, but they uh, allow me to come to these higher runs, which helps me. Me, uh, gear myself to help my guild when we are trying to get AOTC Hero. Hopefully we'll get it in the next uh, couple weeks. So thank you guys for watching. Enjoy the video. Best of luck in Mythic Plus, Raid, PvP, whatever you do, RP, I don't know. Whatever you're doing, I hope you're getting the most out of your Marksman Hunter. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Nice. Weapons down. Interrupt.
that, that looks so silly sound. <laughs> I'm just gonna do a spin move. We see you guys later. Just practicing the blade storm thing. <laughs> Can you flare somewhere where the cats are? Really? Along that road. <laughs> they should be nearby somewhere. So I saw a feral druid on a highlight video on the first boss of Miss hitting the boss for like 168k crits off of an ability. I don't know what it was. Big chomp. Just kidding. I don't know. I don't yeah, know. probably. I know they're, they're four pieces. A ferocious. They get they get max power free ferocious bites that don't consume combo points and act as you have 100 percent energy. Yeah. What? Uh, as procs. Well, that sounds. Still haven't fixed the druid randomly jumping around. Druid randomly jumping around. Yeah, the one right here to our left. Oh, that's not not a bug. It's oh. a meme thing oh. they put in. Oh, cool. Can you strike? Go. What a meme. They got. I did not know that was a thing. They got me good. Bumble was the one pointed it out. Some of his guildmates work for Blizzard, so that's how you Yeah, there is this there's this player who posted on the subreddit how to skip some trash here by like backing off of this and then getting huh. teleported to like the second boss room and then they patched it but they kept That's awesome. This cheetah guy doing it in after they patched it out. Nervous. So nervous. Vortex. Interrupt. Interrupt.
The weapon's in the pool. You guys left the weapon. I guess it doesn't matter. Oh yeah. God yes. Boss is the actual bane of my existence. Elle's kidding. She absolutely loves this. It's so annoying. Shockwave. Gotta keep like max melee range. I can't see this fucking her in my way. That's why you fo I focused it down first. Oh, did you? Watch the flash. Watch your step. your step. Your step. I'm just gonna watch this as I keep dying. Here. your step. And my spear. You can't forget my spear. It's helpful. Uh, really, can you uh, can you help me with soaking balls on the third boss here? 
Yes. Uh, are right. you, do you do a full set and then I do the second set, or you will uh, you will help with the second okay. set because okay. there's going to be I think there's going to be a total of 15 balls that spawn because we're gonna we're, we're gonna do no stomps and okay. it's gonna be like three three ball drops or whatever. Okay. So I'll just need help with that one, otherwise yep. I'll die. Sure. Sweet. I will get burst on the whoa when it pops up. Got it. Get to the top of the stairs. You need to be careful that you don't uh, you don't pull. The, the guy's explosions will knock you out. I'm going all the way. You, uh... Yeah. We need these uh, usurpers. Oh. So the lesson. seconds. Watch that. That's a crappy old job. Up. I'm like, yeah, those are the common. same color. <laughs> Poor Bell. Alright, these next ones need to be put next to the other balls. Do not put them anywhere near the boss, otherwise I won't be able to soak. That means melee need to run out. Here it comes. Get ready to, to drop your balls away. <laughs> I swear, I will, get, I will get the one next to the boss. Really soak as many as you can, I will get whatever you don't get. I will clean up.
cred. Do we need more? So much longer. No, nope. Go. We're good. Sorry for smooth braining that tornado team. Shoot, I smooth brain going to the to orb in a different way. second one of these we all run into melee together then the spear will always get placed on us and we can move out at an angle always avoiding the thing and no one has to think about how to dodge it except for so it's a lot easier sounds good Probably should have been moving away from this, but it's fine. I just need to make a big move to the other side after this next one. I went to where I was standing, not to where I was currently standing. It's interesting. You see that? That should have hit me. Don't question it. To the boss. Rally's going out to just help finish. Well done. I'm not bringing all my cooldowns that I have in the upper. Find shelter. Spread. Find shelter.
phase change. Just move that way. Phase change. <laughs> I kill you. I could have swore I got knocked into that tornado. Spread. Find shelter. Find shelter. I will strike you down. Find shelter. Fred. Find shelter. I will strike you down. Spread. Find shelter. Phase change. Well done, team. Keep it up. Among the clouds. She just moved. Phase change. Find shelter. I will strike you down. Find shelter. Hooray! I have to train it. Hooray! Nice try, team. Almost. Does anybody need this cloak? I guess we have two up now.